Indefinite weekend driving bans are coming to Germany and to the United States. You may have heard about the German minister who threatened to have indefinite driving bans on weekends. This is not a joke. I mean, I can't believe that it isn't a joke, actually. And I wish it was. The ruling coalition of Germany has been fighting over legislation that sets out binding climate targets. And this could happen in the United States as easily in other countries. It sure can happen here. And here's how. The German transport minister threatened to ban driving on weekends if it doesn't meet the climate goals and the ruling coalition does not pass reforms to the Climate Protection Act by July. This sounds like extortion to me. As governments make new laws and regulations, leaders seem to not care about the impact to their citizens and what people want and need. And frequently, these rules are enforced by non-elected officials, but even elected officials seem to be in lockstep with them, which makes no sense. How in the world is having a driving ban on weekends even a good idea for any country? Now, liberal politician Volker Wissing of Germany wrote in a letter to the parliamentary group leaders of the coalition that, in quote, a reduction in traffic is to help meet the climate goals would only be possible through measures that are difficult to communicate to the public, such as comprehensive and indefinite driving bans on Saturdays and Sundays, Wissing stated. That's not going to fly with most of the world. But the federal coalition government made up of the center-left Social Democrats, the Greens, the liberal Free Democrats, have been at odds for months over many of these issues. The planned amendment to the emissions reduction law allows climate goals to be reviewed for compliance. If the overall target is missed two years in a row, then the German federal government is to decide in which which sector, with which measures, the permitted total amount of carbon dioxide emissions is to be achieved by 2030. Translated, driving bans on weekends starting in 2030. Again. This is not a joke. I wish it was. As environmental organizations, including Greenpeace, the German Federation for the Environment and Nature Conservation Bund, and Fridays for Future push the German government to meet their climate goals, they are now targeting people's driving freedom and want to restrict their ability to travel freely. This claim is simply wrong, said Green Parliamentary Group leader Julie Verlinden, told the German press agency referring to Wissing's threat of a weekend driving ban, she added that Wissing should not aggravate people unnecessarily because there are other ways to tackle climate issues, such as a speed limit. Now, Germany has the Autobahn, which has unlimited speeds on certain sections of highways. Again, putting limits on those is going to aggravate a lot of their citizens. And this is one of the things that Germany has, like Times Square is to New York, the Autobahn is to Germany. In quote, Wissing has wasted two years blocking every climate protection measure in road traffic, and now he's coming up with a horror scenario so that we won't have to do anything in the future either, said Verlinden. But what about here in the USA? Other countries have their own issues, but the United States Constitution ensures, in quote, the right to travel. But during the coronavirus pandemic, state and local officials were increasingly telling drivers to stay home, essentially banning the ability to drive. As stay-at-home orders spread across the United States, if you remember, a number of states had moved to restrict the arrival of non-residents of certain states to make sure that there was a quarantine for at least 14 days. Now, governors in some states, including Rhode Island, Florida, and Texas, implemented interstate travel restrictions, including stopping some drivers coming from out of state at the border to remind them to the quarantine requirement. Now, if the government calls for a climate emergency, which it seems like they're planning on doing, could the U.S. government ban us all from driving on certain days of the week or the weekend or for as long as they want? Let's hope not. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I'll be happy to get involved in the conversation. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee or just stay a little bit longer and find another way to save some money on your cell phone plan. Links for our website, social media, and the book and the podcast are all down in the description. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching. Have you ever thought, why in the world is my wireless bill so darn high? What are we paying all this money for? Speed, coverage, data, access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, mobile hotspots? We are partnering with Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile offers all of these features for as low as $15 per month. They're reimagining the wireless shopping experience and made it easy and online. No stores, no salespeople, just huge direct-to-you savings. 
Why should you pay more when you have access to premium wireless? Mint Mobile runs on the nation's largest 5G network. Whether you use your phone to watch YouTube, listen to podcasts or play games, you get the same speed and performance as the big guys while connecting to Mint's network. How hard is it to switch your service? Big Wireless wants you to think it's hard, but switching to Mint is super easy. Thanks to digital e-SIM cards, which most phones now have, you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home. And if your phone doesn't have an e-SIM, Mint will ship you a new SIM card for free. Just go to trymintmobile.com slash Lauren Fix, also linked in the description down below, to get premium wireless for $15 a month.